All right, guys, we're doing a different video series and this is gonna be kind of like a vlog, but it's also gonna be like, I guess really a vlog. Yeah, because I'm gonna be kind of following you around what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Today being the 17th, it's about 3 p.m. I just ate lunch, kind of a late lunch, and now it's time to put away a bunch of, these are my Mark V Spartan Armor minifigures. I've got a bunch of those I have to put away. I've got to finish up packing up these Grimsmo knife figures. I've got a couple orders that need to get packed and then we're gonna get some UV printing done. So I decided I need to get a couple things done today. One of which I need to get cards printed for the rest of these. These are the Grimsmo knife and brick tactical collaboration. John Grimsmo runs Grimsmo knives. That's his sig fig more or less there. And I've got just a couple more here that need to get cards printed so they can be put in these bins. The other ones are down there. Once those are done, I'll put a lid on these and put them in the inventory room. But it's just little things like this. These torsos got cleaned so these can go over here by the printer. And then these got assembled and these need to eventually get packed. But for now, I'm just gonna put all this stuff away. And then these are extra magnets for the figures. Those can get put away. And then I gotta pack that order. So you guys might be wondering, why are you doing this style of video? And I would say the main reason is I did a podcast. I actually have a podcast with Intolerance. That's the name of it. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff. Link's been in the description actually for a while on that podcast. It's a manufacturing and entrepreneurship podcast. A lot of you guys here probably won't find it interesting. It's very heavy into machining and entrepreneurship, but after I did one with John Grimsmo, actually those figures I was just talking about, he really opened my eye up because he does these videos where he kind of goes about his day-to-day -day life, everything you can think of, you know. He's a knife maker. He CNC machines these custom high, you know, high quality, high tolerance pocket knives that he sells for about $1,000 a piece. And he has a huge following. And I figured I have a huge following and I would love to do the same thing, but obviously I'm not gonna be talking about knives. I'm gonna be talking about, you know, printing Lego figures or running a Lego business. And I thought a lot of you guys might find this interesting. And if you do, leave a like on the video. If not, let me know, dislike the video, comment down below. But I figured, you know, John does these videos that I really enjoy because of the business side of things. And I think knife making is cool as well. But I figured if I like these videos, maybe you guys would like this style video, but instead, you know, me obviously doing the Lego side of things. So, you know, talking about, you know, hey, I need to make more Mark V armor visors because I'm out. Or, you know, today I got, got to, uh, I've got to print more of these World War II Panzer Commanders. So it's little things like that. I'm curious, do you guys find this interesting? We're just going to kind of go for it this first video. Leave feedback in the comments down below, like, dislike, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to probably print these cards now. So one thing I got under this table is I've got my bag of bags. So this is just a bunch of plastic bags here that, you know, I've gotten in BrickLink orders. I've gotten from organizing stuff myself. And it's just nice to have because, for example, like all these magnets don't need to be in this giant bag. So let's... I'll probably save that bag and then put these in this smaller bag here, like so. And then I'm going to put them in. I have a very specific spot I'm thinking of. And do this one-handed clumsily. Okay, so then these, I have a other and spare parts bin. This is kind of full of, I would say, like, these are extra parts from, like, figures I've made. These are, like, old combat drone parts, um, spare helmets and hats from figures. So I'm just going to put those in there. I might need them in the future, but uh, that's kind of my spare parts bin, and I just keep that. Another thing I need to do is organize this, but might do that in a later video. Got visors, go... Kind of right there. We've got armor. I need to figure out a better spot to put armor right now. It's just kind of sitting down there. I did pre-package a bunch of them here. So we've got them ready to go because there was a lot of wasted time in me doing that. So now those are like done. Actually, that's a good spot to put that. This is my bin for when I pack orders. Um, heads, obviously in the head bin there. Uh, empty bag. We've got some spare legs. I'll put those in a smaller bag. 
and then we've got all of these red Spartans now. Not too sure where I'll put those. Um, looks like I also need two, four, six. I need four more hazmat zombie cards. I'm gonna print those as well. All right, let's get these guys. Let's just put them in here for now. This is garbage, this is garbage. Um, I'll set these out because I'm getting those cards. And we'll pack these up and then set those guys there. This is a new bin system over here. I'll probably talk about this in later videos, but I'm trying to put all the bins back in there. They're kind of scattered all over the place, especially over here with all these like combat drone parts that I need to wrap up and just get done. Okay, so we've got, let's see, couple more hazmat so i already packed up these two i got clamshells for these four so i'll pack those up here in a second then i've got the rest of these guys go here these go here and then since i can print nine cards per sheet of paper i printed two pit boys and then i also printed two or no three japanese soldiers and the reason for that is I saw these two guys here sitting. I was like, you know what? They need to get packaged. And then I also saw there's three of these guys that were unpackaged. So let's go ahead and, you know, pack all of these stuff or all these, you know, loose figures up. So when I'm, I get an order for them, I can just grab them and go. So I'm going to pack these up, but let's go first get some more clamshells. Okay, we've got a stack of clamshells. I really don't need that many. I only need five. I'll keep these in here, but now I'm going to add the cards to these so they look awesome like this. And then I can slowly clear this table off. I gotta pack that one order. Um, then we get to go printing, so that'll be cool. Okay, we've got Japanese packaged, we've got hazmat zombies, two pit boys, five more pandemic Norsemen, and three more Grimsmo figures packed up. I'm going to take all of these, put them in bins in the inventory room, clear this table off. We got a couple more things that we got going on today. Um, I don't know where to put these. There's still one figure up here. Let's move him and put him right there in the back just for now. And then these two guys, there was a spot for them right here. They're good to go. I just noticed I have one more Deadpool figure. So, and it, the website said there was zero left. So I just added that. So if you guys want one, he is being in the process of being restocked, but that's going to take a couple weeks. So if you guys want one, there's now one on the website. So let's see, now I'm gonna put these guys away and we'll be done. Okay, side tangent, I'm getting cluttered in here and one of the things is I have a bunch of these boxes. These were for originally, I make this Noble Armor pack. It's a 3D printed Halo Reach Noble Team Armor set. And I found these boxes that were much cheaper. You can see they're a little bit slimmer, a little bit wider. These ones are a little bit taller and smaller. Um, I've had I've had all these just sitting in this corner here and I'm going to go put these away 
um, probably where I have all my clamshells and packing materials. I just don't need these in here and it's just, I'm tired of looking at them. So I'm going to move them and probably move some other stuff around in here. I mean, there's a lot of like little things like all these cards should be somewhere or, you know, why is there just a bag of cigarettes and a bag of random guns sitting here? So I need to, I might set a timer for like 10 minutes and just clean and see how much I get done. But uh, I'm going to put these away. It's just, it's just dumb to have them. And this is why I like these videos is because this is like my day to day. It's just like, hmm, how can I improve, you know, anything? It could be, you know, moving just as simple as it sounds, moving these boxes as I drop it. Or it could, you know, it could be like, I'm trying to think of another one. You know, why do I have to walk over here every time I need to get this figure part? Why can't I keep everything in one spot. So it's all these little things that running a business, they add up and it doesn't really matter what business you're in. It could be manufacturing, it could be Lego, it could be, um, I don't know, you could be selling stickers, you could be selling makeup, it doesn't matter. It's all these little things that add up. And so that's why I I wanna share this because it's very universal. So it's it's little things like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep working at it here. So I just got a confirmation from Kenneth over at Modern Brick Warfare. All the orders for the restocks of the explosive specialists, I'm making 50 of every Russian figure and 50 of every American figure I make and a couple other new items. So all that new accessories and stuff has been shipped. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I think I have one. Yeah, so this was the original. This this guy. So all this armor, I don't make this. This is from Minifig Cat. And Modern Brick War Warfare is the U.S. distributor for this. So I just talked to him and bought a bunch, like a big, it's going to be a cool little unboxing. And I'll probably do like a little vlog segment if you guys like this content. And after I post this video, if you guys like it. But okay, back to what I was doing. Boxes. Okay. Boxes are away. Wow, I'm overexposed. Why is this happening? Whoa, okay. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, okay. I don't know if I'm going to get to printing today. Um, just because there's all these little things I want to get done. Sorry if it's really shaky. But I need to order more bubble mailers. These guys. This is what I ship pretty much, I would say, 90% of my orders in. Sometimes I have to put them in boxes. I have bigger ones of these. This is, I think, nine by eight, or no, nine by 11, or something like that. I need to order more of these. I order them in 250 or 200, a box of 250. They, it's free shipping to get them to me, and they get here in like a day, because I think they have a warehouse in Washington. So I'm almost out of these. I just ordered some too. Like, you guys are crazy with the amount of orders you've been placing. I'm really fortunate, and I appreciate it, but I need more of these. I also need more of these plastic bags that I put your guys' stuff in. So I need to spend some money and get this stuff ordered. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. He is being restocked. That is why he's sitting on my desk and uh, I'm ordering parts actually right now for him. So we're going to be making 50 of these bad boys. So if you guys missed out on the first drop of Deadpool, I will be returning with more. And this Lego Samurai Sword might be getting remade in my own version, and I might be including it with this figure. So more to come on that, but I thought that was kind of cool. And I'm, if you guys know me for a while, I like setting things on my desk. That means they have to get done. So that's why this guy's been sitting on my desk for the past day. All right, that's going to do it for this first episode or vlog. I don't know what I'm going to call this, to be honest. But all I wanted to say is the last thing I'm going to be working on today is I make these little Lexan transparent red spacers. They're actually light bulbs and they actually go on the front dash of like helicopters and airplanes. I make that for a company. I have to sit there with the X-Acto blade and just clean them up and make them perfect. And there's probably 500 of those, maybe more actually, maybe 800. I don't know. But I got to do that, pack those up, ship those out because they are in def des uh, desperate need of those. So I need to do that tonight. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight. And then I'm also going through my phone and I'm pulling out a bunch of videos. So there's going to be some interesting videos coming up on the channel. And then also on my other channel, Brick Tactical. If you guys haven't seen that, feel free to check that out. That's a little bit different. But let me know what you guys think of this video style. It's going to be just what I do every day. Um, talking about business, talking about Lego, talking about life. Um, I... 
I'm doing kind of a reevaluation. Uh, I can't talk today. Reevaluation my head, and I'm realizing, like for example, with my printer, like I've never shown this before, and boom, there it is. That's the printer, and the reason I'm not worried about hiding that anymore is because I want to share the knowledge because. What happened, you know, I have so much knowledge on certain things that I want to share with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are interested in like, how do you print onto Lego figures? And, you know, it's not easy. It's not cheap. You know, that machine was $30,000. I'll just tell you that straight up. And yes, it can be done. I did it. So it's definitely possible. I'm not worried about like creating competitors because at the end of the day, if people want Brick Tactical, they're buying me. They're buying my story. They're buying who I am and what I do. So no one can replace me. So I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I print things, how I mold things. And the big thing is like, if I die in a week, which I hope doesn't happen, but all my knowledge will be lost. And I want to put it out there for people to use it, take advantage of it and uh, go further in life. So I'm going to end it at that. Thank you guys for watching. Like or dislike if you guys liked or disliked the video. And yeah, leave me some comments down below and I'll see you next time.